Okay, so this part of the music right here... I don't know why I haven't mentioned it up to this point, but that part of the music always reminds me of, um, Happy to be Stuck with You by Huey Lewis and the News. Yeah, I kind of fixed up a little bit here, fixed up the floor. You know, got it looking a little nicer. I also made a nice big poison swamp. By doing that, I actually triggered another tablet target, but I didn't get to the point where I have the pencil yet. And it's probably for the best, because I'm... I don't know, or pencil, I think I already have the pencil, actually. It's something else, I don't know. Yeah, I have the pencil. Okay. Anyway, so I made like a little cemetery over here. Put some guillotines down. Guillotines. You know, just made this place look nice and evil. You know, because that's, you know, that's what you do. I don't know if I ever did anything with the swamp. I had a couple of faucets or something that I could have put in there to, like, run the water so you could put your feet under it. Do you ever do that thing like when you're taking a bath? where the water starts to get cold, so you turn on the hot water and put more hot water in, and then you get your hands down in there and start brushing the water towards yourself, the hot water, and it just feels so freaking good. What else did I do? I did something else. Oh, 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 yeah, down here I fixed up this little area. So I got, like, some comfy sofas in the shade over here, and some more right here, and I dyed them and everything. It just looks so cool, man. I love it. I love this game. I'm taking a dump on the toilet, it smells like caca. Okay, anyway, all right. So, I was kind of debating in my head, do I want to build in this episode, or do I want to explore more islands? Because I kind of think maybe exploring the islands would be better, because at least then there's a chance I'll take advantage of the unlimited whatever it is I get from them. And so I think I'm just going to do that. I'm going to go to another island. I'm not going back to the Isle of, uh... Oh, you know what? Here, I'll, I'll talk about that when we get there. Yeah, there's actually... Okay, so you know how there's, like, a password you can put in to build Utopia? And you can make... You can go to basically any island that's been created already? Well, I found a password where you can go, and you can actually get, like, um, four pieces of Orichalcum really easily. So I'm gonna put that password on the screen. I would show the island, but I don't know if the Orichalcum will still be there. I mean, I might as well try, I guess. I was actually just thinking about this, but what if the stuff I get for completing the tablet targets would make the islands easier? Might be better to do it in the opposite order, I don't know. But this is the island here that it'll take you to, that password. If you just come right over here, there's a nice big swamp right here. It's got four pieces of Orichalcum in it. I assume they're not still gonna be there, because I tried coming back, you know, to do it again. It looks like I forgot how to jump. Yeah, I tried coming back thinking it would respawn, and it didn't, so this might be like a one-time thing. I'm not really too sure. But yeah, there's, uh... Or Chalcom, and the stuff is still removed, so you can see where exactly it is. There's two more right there, and then there's one down that way. So yeah, that's all I really needed to show there, so for now, I'm gonna pick a different island, and we're gonna go exploring. Yeah! It's too bad you can't go straight from one island to another, you always have to go back to the Isle of Awakening in between, but, eh, you know. Alright, let's see, so I guess Unholy Home? I actually don't have enough hearts for this one. Oh my gosh, well we can go to Coral K. That sounds a little tamer. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to do some work to get to the access to that last island down there, but that's okay. As far as that goes, I didn't collect the hearts I did have there, probably. Probably got them sitting all over the place. Uh, yep. You do have to collect those, too, because there can only be so many on the field, you know, at one time. So, and I haven't been doing that, so I've probably been missing out a little bit. Oh, man, I should've brought the bird! Oh, man! Maybe I'll take Malroth, too. Oh, wait, I do have the bird in my party. I was thinking maybe go back and get Malroth too, but, uh, no, I have to, no, we'll, we'll do this. This island sounds rather, you know, easy. Let's see, make sure we don't have any seeks up here. Let's make sure the sand. It is called Coral K, which makes me think sand would be, oh, it is, yeah. Seaside sand. Yaha! Seaside town. Boing. Well, we have... What is this? Dilapidated barrel? Broken barrel. This sounds like it's gonna be a nice natural island with just beautiful stuff and stuff, man. I don't know why it's for some reason that a paraglider sometimes just doesn't come out. Oh, man, I'm making waves now. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> Let's not get eaten by that leviathan thing. Oh, we just got lucky and had one little square there. Wait, is this a, is this a check? Nope. Alright, well, maybe we should look up. Hey, trees, alright. Let's check him out. Yep. Begonias, oh man. I haven't heard that word since probably in a while. A cone canut tree. That's a cone canut tree. So you can get a toe print. Anyway, I always say that. Alright, grass, no. 
sand no let's go over here let's see if it, oh wait what was that rocky sand oh stony sand that's not pleasant to walk on in bare feet I've been to Myrtle Beach I can tell you seaside seaweed you know you gotta strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike seaweed stack so much soot oh there's gold in this wait you get unlimited gold Shit, why did I spend all that time going to Sunny Sands, man? That's okay. Still do have to go there to get mithril. Speaking of which, while I'm doing this, I actually grabbed some footage of myself gathering mithril over there. Because there's a trick to it. When you're underground and there's those little pyramid-looking things with uh, that are made of stone, if you look for the ones that have white dye as the top of the pyramid, those are the ones that will have mithril in them. So you just kind of do them with your super attack and whatever. I need to eat. So, but sometimes the white dye ones will only have two splotches on the side of the block, rather than three. So if you see that, you know it's white dye. That's kind of how I was able to tell for some of them. So I gathered like 16 in probably 10 minutes? I don't know. It wasn't too bad. Man, this is like the last place you would expect to see a super strong monster. But right as I say that, I guarantee you we're going to turn the screen and there's going to be one there. Hey, wait, there's stuff underwater here. Yeah, let's check it out. We haven't really had like an underwater one of these. I suppose this would be the time then, wouldn't it? Ah. Well, it wouldn't be Coral K without Coral there, would it? Can I grab this here, too? I assume I don't have this. Wait, oh. I didn't think it was going to take the whole thing. I thought the Coral was separate from the thing next to it. Yeah, there is stuff all over the place down here. Let's just make sure we come up for air occasionally. Capsized crate, yeah. <laughs> I was assuming at some point the capsized crate was going to become a thing. What about the shells? They haven't been a thing. Yeah, now they are. Got the Scallywinkle! Yay. Oh yeah, you knew I was gonna raise my voice when I said that word. Green Coral Colony? Yeah okay, well, let me check, uh... See if just green coral is there too. No, I guess not. Yep. Well, grab this. We could put it somewhere on our island for sure. Grab some of this yep. too. Oh uh, yeah. You can hold your breath for a pretty long time in this game, I tell ya. Apparently my bird can hold his breath too. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. Good job, bird. Speaking of birds, we just watched, uh, we went to the movies last night and we saw, what is it called again? Wild Robot? Yeah, that movie was awesome, dude. I loved it. Yeah, the music that they play when they were like, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but there's like music that plays in a certain part that really kind of got me. There we go. Got some of our air back so we could come down here and get this over here. Get this Dats Arball. Like, seriously, Dats Arball? Are you serious? That's what I kept calling it. That's kind of what Luca was calling it, too, for a lot of the time, so I don't feel so bad. Still, though, I don't want to make fun of myself too much, because then it's like I'm making fun of her, too. I don't think she would mind, though. Anyway. Let's see, so, uh... Did I get the white coil colony? I'm not sure, and just in case, I'm gonna grab this one here, and it looks like we didn't have it. Okay. Should I get more than one? I mean, I don't know. Any reason not to. Of course, you go and gather up a whole bunch of them, and then two minutes later, you find a recipe where you can just make one. Oh, wait, starfish. Starfish has definitely got to be one. Is that a yellow one over there? Ooh, let's go get the yellow one. Wait, starfish? No? Huh. We found a bunch of starfish under Hardon's castle, the fake Hardon's castle on the prison island, so that was kind of cool. Yellow coral colony. Okay, I see two more coral colonies in the list here, so... Why don't we just jump out here and grab some air? Looks like red and purple. Oh, and black. There's a black one, too. This one might be red. I'm not sure. I think the other one we got was pink. Yeah. Looks like maybe that shell over there, too. Oh, there's like air bubbles down here. I didn't even notice. Oh, I guess I got the shell already. Well, shucks. How much of this is going to be underwater? I don't know. Wait, is that a purple one? I think I see a purple one. I see some purple horseshoes. Oh yeah, this is very slow though. What about that driftwood? Is that gonna be something? Let's find out. Yep. Hell yeah. Okay, I see the shell too. That's apparently one. Wait, what about like the single corals? There's a bunch of those on the bottom there. Let me make sure these aren't like separate. Oh god, they are. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I thought they were separate all this time, but I, I don't know. I kind of dismissed it when I picked up that first one, and it didn't seem to react when I went to the single one next to it, but oh well. Man, this whole thing is just underwater, man. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. 
Wish I had one of those potions from uh, Echoes of Wisdom, those smoothies. That give you, like, the underwater breathing. Of course, most of the smoothies in that game only give you, like, one minute of the effect, and I feel like that's really short. So you'd have to bring, like, five or six of them, because you could be going around those areas for, I don't know, like, 20 minutes? Hebrew Mountain? I mean, holy hell. You know, it's all freezing up there and everything. So you're not going to bring 20 smoothies just to get through that, but you can also subjugate it by, like, carrying around a, an Ignazol above your head so you stop yourself from freezing, so suppose there's that. Uh, I'm trying to look and see if there's stone. No, but what about that down there, though? No, that's just more stony sand, if I had to guess. Like, if I... I mean, I, I'm assuming most of this is going to be underwater, which means what am I doing right now? Well, first things first, let's go get the rest of the corals. We don't have single corals. Let's do that first. This is awfully relaxing, and I do love it. That's not the X button. There we go. Seems we got jellyfish down here. You know, I probably should be killing this stuff because it, they are monsters, and you can recruit them sometimes. I do have monster food on me, so... The worst comes to worst, we could grab a couple monsters to take home with us. Always do that. Still doing okay on air, although I don't want to take that for granted too much here. Let's see, what about red single coral? Do we have that? I don't think this is going to count. This is part of the main one. Gotta find one that has, like, a bunch of coral next to it. I think that's why I didn't check for the single ones. Well, if I would have looked at the list, I would have seen that they were there and maybe tried a little harder, but I didn't do that. Oh, well. I can get up here on land for a little bit and kind of just scope out the, the environs here. God, this might be my favorite island. Yeah, this place is so cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> In the words of Jiggy. Let's see what's down here. I don't see much of anything. Okay. Oh, do I want to do this now? If this is as bad as the ones on Defiled Isle, then I am not looking forward to it. But hey, guess what? Ooh, okay, yeah, that, that damage is definitely not as bad. Especially if you go up or off your, after him. Oh, look at his HP. He has not gone down one tick. How long is this going to take? A half hour? I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I really should have brought Malroth. You know, if I even had a low look of sense, I'd come back here with him instead of doing this right now. Holy shit, well that uppercut was definitely something to write home about. Okay, alright, I'm done with you. Yeah, I'm coming back. Later. Later, I say. Alright, let's see. Um, here, Calgon, take me away! <laughs> I can't believe that's the first time I said that. So you can definitely see the corals from up here. Definitely, let's see, a blue one and a yellow one. I don't have the black one yet, that's the only one we seem to be missing. And as always, if push comes to shove, we can use our whistle. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah! Yay! Okay, question. Can you grab the bird underwater? Can you fly underwater? Holy shit, this bird is incredible. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. You also get all your air back? That is awesome. Get all your air ball. Uh. Alright, that's another one. I cannot believe this dude can fly underwater. Wait, why is... Oh god, what is that? Curious. If I respawn, I'm not going to have to get all that stuff again, am I? No, there's got to be a reason this is here. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I just think this looks cooler to do it this way. There's bones here. Does somebody die down here? I tell you. Oh, it's going to take a while to get out of this, though. There's, like, holes all over the place out here. And I definitely haven't been down this one because I haven't explored this part of the map, so... I don't know. I think we better take a look. There wasn't anything down the first one, which kind of makes me wonder. I don't know, maybe there's nothing... Oh, wait, no, there, there is something here. Because look at this. Yep. This is where one of our stones is. Check. Black Coral Colony, there you go. Infinite supply of sand. Okay, I don't know how useful that's gonna be, but... I don't know. Can we get the single black? Is there a single black down here? Yes, there is, right there. Oh, you move so slowly down here, it's kind of awkward. I was gonna say that looked like gold, but I thought, would there really be gold here? Yes, there is. There is gold here. But it's not gonna matter, because we're gonna have unlimited gold once we get done here, so yeah. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same for the other one, which looks like copper, but I'm not sure. Kinda hard to tell. I'm just gonna check this just in case, even though I'm gonna be... Oh, oh, okay, good thing I did. It was ruby. Good thing we did that. So you can get ruby here, too? That's kinda cool. 
Ruby's not that hard to get. If you go to Iridescent Island, you can just kind of fly up to it. Just kind of build around it, whack it. Take home like 30 Ruby in no time. Gotta have Ruby to make those naughty night lights. Although I already have like four or five of them, so... Eventually we'll have to make some rooms out of those because that'll be funny. <laughs> Man, I thought I was at the surface and I wasn't. Oh my god. There could be nothing more frightening than trying to swim up to the surface thinking that you're there. And then for like that last ten agonizing seconds, you're just not there. And you still gotta keep holding your breath for a little bit longer. Like when I was a kid, I watched this Bug that Bugs Bunny cartoon. That I, I, don't, I don't know if it's Bugs Bunny's third movie or something, but at some point in that movie, they ask this old wizard-looking man to hold his breath, and he does it. And like within the first five seconds of him doing it, his face starts turning blue. And you know, and they keep cutting back to him, and he's just like in more and more desperate for air as time goes on. And as a kid, I just felt so bad for that guy. And even worse now that I'm older, because I know that's got to be harder for old people to do than it does for young people, so like, Jesus Christ, I don't know. It's like, did my parents ever walk in and wonder, you know, is he going to be traumatized by this? I mean, I wasn't, but, but it's funny how I still think about it. Seriously, I don't know what just happened. My audacity stopped and it popped up and said something there? I don't even know where we're at right now. Uh, where, wait, what, future self, where are we in the... Well, you're not going to be able to tell. Oh, it's only at 26. So it only did that, like, maybe four minutes ago. Okay. Well, still... Oh my god, that sucks. Yeah. I don't know why it stopped recording. It said... I, I should have read what the pop-up said, I guess. So like I've never seen that happen before. So, why don't we look at these tablets? Okay, so one of them that I remember that keeps... Oh god, new targets materialize. It's never gonna end! All right, we got lots of different rooms. Rooms your residence like. Whatever this is, we've done most of it. Build a spa resort. We've kind of done that. Make lots of snow fields. We gotta make more snow fields. Use every color. We got all but one of those. Befriend lots of different monsters. Still working on that. That's what I actually was doing on that island just now. Make lots of different food. Oh, plant every kind of flower. Residence with different jobs. Make lots of different tile types on your map. Yeah, most of those too. Oh, that's crazy. I need to go back and look at the other ones now. But the one that's been stuck in my head was like, build a room way down low. Because we went and built the room up high, we did that. But I haven't done the one down low yet. And I can't get it out of my head that I want to do it over here. Just like... Well, there's a lot of trees here, but this looks better, maybe. Just kind of do it in the side of the wall here, just go down from here. Because we can make this look super cool. We can make this like the coziest cave ever. This might take a while, though. I don't know how much of the building process I really necessarily want to show, because I know that would get really boring, and it takes a long time to do. I could spend, like, three hours just sitting in here building stuff, and half the time I'm just walking around the thinking about what to do rather than actually doing it. And so you end up with this, like, situation. You know, it's like that one love song. Oh, situation! Okay, seriously. Um, my bag is now full. Oh, no! We're gonna have to make some treasure chests or something here. So I want to get all these things out of here, though. And my bag is full. Holy oh, crap. I'm gonna have to put some stuff away for sure. Anyway, we'll just get on the lowest level and try to eke this out a little bit here. See, I, wouldn't, I don't need the entrance of this to be, like, you know, huge. I just need the, the area itself down here to be somewhat huge, I guess. I'm not sure what I'm doing just yet. <laughs> Just kind of having fun here. Yeah, so much of this is just fun, fun, fun. You start to get in these tight spaces like this, and then the camera starts to want to zoom in on you. Maybe I should take the bird out of the party. I think I might do that. Because he's kind of getting in the way a little bit. I mean, sorry, buddy, you're super useful. You're like the most useful thing ever. But I gotta, I gotta let you go for now. Alright, Cosmic. Uh, Remove from party. Thank you very much for your assistance, and I will see you later. In the meantime, we're heading out. Where was I doing this again? All the way over here? Jeez, man. I need to give, like, future self some kind of indication. Oh my god. It's so far down, there's like a fall damage now. This is gonna take a, a while to clear out, actually, isn't it? <laughs> I know there's ways that you can, like, what I've seen people do is take the pencil or something and make, like, an empty... Well, that's, that's what I was trying to do earlier, was make, like, 
an empty blueprint and then just send people in. And what they'll do is they'll destroy blocks that aren't part of the blueprint. And then you can use that to clear out giant, like, mountains and stuff. So I don't know how well that would work, like, down here, but, uh, I guess we'll see. We don't need to make this, like, super huge here, though. So just do da 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 like this, and da 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 Stick a door in there, put a light source in, tiny room. Okay, uh, that, I don't think that triggered it, actually. Huh, that's too bad. Alright, gotta keep digging. <laughs> Alrighty. I guess what else I could do is make bombs. That might be a faster way to do this. Yeah, I might actually try that. I didn't even think about that till just now. Huh. Yeah. This is gonna be the most ridiculous cave ever, man, I tell you. So, let's see. Bum 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 bum, and bum bum, and door. Door, I said. Oh, I made two rooms. Cool. Still nothing. Alright. Alright, we're a little bit further down now. Let's try it here. I can't believe this goes this far down, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, oh, there it is. We did it. We got it down low. Ha ha ha. Keep it on the down low. Nobody has to know. Ho oh, oh, ho, another challenge complete, I see. Cracking job, and see us. Now I almost don't want to do anything with this. Tablet tray of laser? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, man. I can hardly- wait a minute, I can hardly believe the progress you're making here. You've finished 30 tablet targets now. Smashing! In recognition of this dazzling display, I award you with this chisel. A fine building tool for even even finer builder. I have no idea what this does. Chip away blocks for a new angle on life. Use that chisel on a block to chip it into a diagonal slope or even slice it clean in half. Oh, that thing. Oh, that gets into some pretty complicated stuff. Fifteen more, and we'll make the bottomless pot even better. How in the world are you gonna do that? It's already as good as it can get. Okay, so press R2 while facing a block to change its shape. Press and hold X to bring up the tool list and select the type of chisel you want. From the three varieties available. Three? There's three of them? You can do this. Make it into a triangle? Okay. I assume that's just reversible? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I guess in the list here you can actually go up and down like this and like a flat chisel. And then it do it would do this. Ah, it just cuts it in half. I mean that makes sense. And you can also oh you can have just the top half too. Oh that's interesting. And then concave chisel. I think I know what this is gonna do, but let's just try it. Actually, it shows you right up there. Wait. Oh my god. Holy crap! That, 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 that's insane that you can do all that. I mean, the kind of stuff you could make with that. That's ridiculous. So, also, if I stand next to this, do I take damage? Yes, I do. Okay. Duly noted. That definitely blew out a much bigger space, though. Okay. This is a blow out your butthole with this thing, I tell you. Alright, so, once again... Stand a little further away. Oh, wow. That didn't seem like it... Oh, so it doesn't do damage downward. I gotcha. Okay. How far down are we talking here? I don't know, I guess we'll just have to try. Put another one right here. And another one over here. Mmm. You know, you, oh god, I just fell some more. Yeah, so there can only be so many blocks on the screen at one time, so kind of don't worry about picking them up, I guess, because they'll just disappear as the next ones get generated. How far down did we have to go here? I mean, we don't necessarily have to build these rooms. If I'm gonna make this cave, you know, we don't have to do it all the way down there. We could just do it right here. Like, obviously I would go in and kind of redecorate the walls here. Some throw pillows and a TV news reporter and all that stuff. But, for the time being, let's get something in here that I can... Yeah, this this will be good right here. I think this is a good level to kind of start with. So we'll put one over here. And one over there. So this doesn't have to be super huge, but also I kind of think it might look more natural if I don't try to make it a perfect square, but just let the chips fall where they may. I mean, this looks pretty good right here, actually. The hardest part is going to be building a way up and down. You know, whether I'm going to do staircases or ladders or... I don't know, I'm kind of thinking staircases, but I guess we'll have to see. So, uh... Oh, wait, it's playing... the music changed. 
Okay, so the music does change as you go in and out of the border of the town. You can see on the map there. Yeah. Wait, is this big enough? I don't know. I don't know. I think I want this a little bit bigger. I think I also want it higher. You know what? It's too late. We gotta go with what we got here. Don't chicken out on me now. Let's go all the way. Let's come into this. Well, as far as that goes, it doesn't even have to be a circle. It could be just a regular old... Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. You know, we could have parts that go in a little ways. You know, just little hallways and stuff or whatever. Oh no, I'm starving. Boy, have I really been working that hard? Yeah, it's like, I know some people in the comments did say they kind of wanted to see the building process, and so... I think it's kind of proven to me to maybe show a little bit of that, you know, rather than just do it and say, okay, here's what I did, you know. I definitely want to redecorate these walls, though. Make them into something cooler. I don't know if I want to make them into castle walls, but I'm not sure what else I would use. What looks good? Whatever it is, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to have a lot of it, like bricks. We can make bricks, actually. Ooh, yeah. That could be nice and cozy. Again, with the cozy shit here, but... Yeah, and we just go to Transformo. And, uh... Do it. Yeah, this place is gonna look awesome, dude. Mm hmm We're gonna have to do something about the walls up there. Either that or just build a ceiling. Could do that, too, so you're not looking up and seeing, like, you know... Oh, it's all gray up there. How ugly. This could take a while, though. I definitely can't promise that I won't do some of this off-screen, because, boy, it's gonna be tempting to. And also, if I did it all on-screen, it'd probably end up being, like, three more videos. So I don't want to do that, either. We're already down to 300 bricks. We started with, like, 540 or something, so, yeah. Also, every time I'm doing this, it's doing, like, five blocks worth, so the blocks that are inside of the wall are getting changed, too. So that's using up more bricks, so... It's not too bad, though. Like, if I did this, I probably could just do that. You know, and not face the wall head-on. So that way I'm not applying it, you know, the rest of that sentence. Mm-hmm, this looks good, okay. I need to figure out what I'm doing here, man. I would do this while watching Monster, but the problem is it's Japanese. It has subtitles, so I have to look at the screen to actually watch it. I know, first world problems, right? Seriously, though, it's awesome. It reminds me of 999 a little bit. Some of the shots of Mina, one of the characters, and it reminds me of Akane. It's really kind of cool. Wait a minute. Oh, no, I ran out of bricks, man. Oh, this looks awesome already, though, even with the messy rock up above it. Yeah, we're going to have to work on the mode of transportation here. Okay, boy, that really is far down, though. It is absolutely insane how much you can, like, how much you can, how many rooms you can make in this. I mean, like, I think there's a limit to how many rooms you can have on the island. It's like 115 or something like that. I don't remember the exact number, but there is a limit. So, like, it's not completely limitless. But at the same time, you could still build the rooms, even if they don't count as a room, you know? You could still make them and they'd still be there, and that'd be fine. What was I coming up here to? Oh, yeah, make bricks. I hope I have everything I need to make bricks. Oh, Earth. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'll make 900 of them. As opposed to making 9,000, because I could do that too. Also, apparently it is possible to die in that final fight, but uh, it's not likely. It's pretty hard to do, so I think I got pretty lucky, though, because I was close. Apparently I was down to 2 HP at one point. I didn't even notice that. I'm like, shit, dude. I'm like, shit, got him. Yeah, this is definitely going to have to be like a bar or a pool room or some kind of gaming room darts and just crap, man. This is looking good. I'm almost tempted to maybe keep going with the bricks. Just build up to seven. I don't know. I like high ceilings. That would just take a really long time, though. Oh, I could have held... I guess I could have held, um... L1 and did it? Oh, no, I guess not. I can't do that with L1 and R1. Okay. That's gonna be a process right there. I'm not gonna sit there and do that on screen, though. But we're gonna need a way to get in here. And this looks pretty natural right here. Do I have steps, though? Oh, I gotta make that hammer, dude! I got the oral chapkin, and I haven't made the hammer yet, man! Whoops. Oh, I did it again. Okay, for, first just do this. Because that's gonna be too high, anyway. And then we go one, two, three. Get rid of that. Not both of those, though. Set one down right there. 
and then we'll go step, 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 step. Step, 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 step. I could make carpet steps, I guess. But again, the cotton is always like a thing. So you gotta be wary. Alright, this is starting to look like something here, and I've done all this on screen, good lord. Okay, from the side it looks a little stupid. Yeah, hmm. Not sure about that just yet. So in turn, that makes me wonder if I can use stone steps to go all the way up here. I wonder if I could build like an elevator or something, that'd be cool. Or I could just make a little water spout, or like a water that you could go down underwater or something. And then come out the water sideways like in Galaxy 2. I don't know, it's a thought. Uh-oh. Changes the music again. Oh man. Okay. I noticed even when you have the jukebox playing, that still happens. Okay. Well, I think that's all I'm gonna do there. I was thinking maybe go ahead and use the mirror on the dog, but I don't want to do that at the end of the video. I want to do that at like the beginning. Well, that's a start, but I definitely think there will be more progress made on this when I get back because I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'll figure something out though. I mean, I'll probably just make staircases alternating back and forth. You know, all the way down or something like that. Wish I could make, like, an escalator, that'd be pretty badass. But yeah. Or what if I made the stairs go all the way up to the other side of the castle, so you entered from the other side, and when you got to the bottom, you were on the other side of the castle. <laughs> like, you wouldn't be able to tell, aside from looking at the map, so not a big deal. So anyway, I haven't done anything in the last, like, five minutes here, I've just been sitting here talking. So, next time on Dragon Quest Builders, we'll use the mirror on the dog, and then I'll show you what I've done with this, whatever it happens to be. So, see you guys later!